Hi, this is Alex Henry. I'm going to take you on a short journey of making a living one sheet. Now, a one sheet is a fancy term for movie poster. And this is the kind of thing we usually do. But we wanted to do something different. So we're going to make a movie poster that moves. We're going to talk a little bit about the Red One camera and why we decided to use that for the project and how we're applying this technology to do something cool for our clients. I'm Andrew Ox, the studio manager. So why red? This is the same camera used to shoot feature films like Angels and Demons. So why would a photographer want to use this? To answer that, we need to go back to the beginning when we first got the job. So this is a job that came in from one of our regular clients, publicity for a network movie, and we've done this many times before. At the same time, we noticed HD advertising screens were popping up everywhere. Occasionally you would see something great like BLT Step Brothers, but most of the ads seemed to be repurposed motion graphics. And that seemed to us like a terrible missed opportunity. This was the perfect job to pitch as a living one sheet. We'd shoot this with our same style of lighting, our style of photography. In fact, it would need to look like a photograph right up until the moment it starts playing. Eyes on camera. That's terrific. And good. Because this is all so new, we decided to do some extensive testing. We started to test with our 5D Mark II. We had to show our client exactly what we were thinking and we really wanted to get them on board. We filmed many ideas and we learned a lot about what makes a living one sheet work. So we needed to use something that was as close as possible to the quality of digital photography that we normally use for jobs, but for motion. The red is just that. It's basically a digital camera that can shoot 24 frames a second. The red one is a digital cinema camera shoots at a resolution several times higher than typical high definition. So to give you a crude comparison, it's like shooting a raw image with a 12 megapixel pro camera, while other HD cameras are shooting JPEGs with a two megapixel point and shoot. And you can use some of the world's best lenses to get beautiful depth of field, normally reserved for 35 millimeter film cameras. This is a 24 to 290 2.8 Ingenue Optimo. This lens is worth more than my car and every worldly possession I have. Because we are shooting video instead of stills, we're going to be on hot lights instead of strobes. This means we needed to find hot lights that matched our style of still lighting. After much testing, we found the Breezy, which I am absolutely smitten with. As you can see, it's a big parabolic reflector, very similar to, sort of similar to the Allen Chrome. The HMI will come out here and be omnidirectional. It is, it is a beautiful, uh, a beautiful key source, especially when you're used to the sources that a still photographer gets. You can easily fall into a trap of doing routine work, especially with repeat clients. But the key is to reinvent yourself. So we delivered the first two concepts and they absolutely loved it. But something just still wasn't right with the finished project. Alex wasn't happy yet. But one day it came to him. He had this idea of incorporating our final concept into their webpage. One of the best things about these living posters is the element of surprise. So you go on and you see this picture, and you think you're looking at a movie poster, and you move on with your life. And then boom, it comes alive. A great photographer once told me, if you deliver exactly what the client expects, you're not doing your job. You have to constantly push yourself. 